Hey bitches, it's me, the baddest beach, Ace Up Emma, and I'm here today to show you an ombre for beginners. Remember, I am not an expert, but this is what I do. I learn by myself, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna start with push and marker cuticles. I purchased this cuticle pusher in a local nail supply store. I also want to apologize for my voice throughout the video. I recorded my voice for a week, different days, different times. So that's gonna be the ups and downs throughout the video. So I'll hang through. The good thing is that you're gonna be able to hear me. Yes! This beat is so lit. I'm literally like turning up as I'm doing the voiceover. <laughs> After you push back all the cuticles, make sure you cut them with this uh, cuticle clipper. Be careful with this. Make sure you only cut dead skin. Don't uh, go too deep into the actual live skin because you can cause serious infections. expert you probably can get all the cuticle dead skin in one piece but see me I'm not an expert I'm learning as I go so it's okay if you don't get it all in one piece as long as you do it right Now I'm moving on to my e-file with this cuticle bit and I'm going to go ahead and take care of all the dead skin that my file may not have gotten and I'm going to use it around the sidewalls of the natural nail and by the um, cuticle area making sure all the dead skin is gone. Make sure speed is on low, not too high, but also not too low, but low enough and fast enough that it could still take shine off without you having to press too hard on, on the nail. <laughs> the thing they got stuck in my glove so make sure you guys put your glove far apart from the nail or the drill then I use this little white cube that's gonna help me take the shine off from the nails you don't need to file it too deeply just remember it's only to take the shine off 
we don't need to file the nails like that Then I'm gonna measure the tips and make sure that then I'm gonna measure the tips. I'm gonna make sure that the very tip where the C curve is is actually glued to the nail. One tip that I do want to give you guys that a lot of people mess up on is they they sometimes use tips that are shorter and do not cover the whole nail bed. I suggest that you use a larger nail, like a wider C curve, because at this point if the nail is bigger you can actually file before you actually apply it on the nail bed and even once it's applied on the nail you can file it down so it can actually fit the actual nail plus when the nail when the nail tip is smaller it's easier for them to pop off Now I'm gonna use my tweezers. Right, it's tweezers? Yeah. I often call them tweezers, so yeah, bear with me, okay? And I'm gonna use them to glue the sides of the nail tip onto the nail bed, because they often do not glue. And I also use them to pinch nails whenever I use nail forms. That way you'll create a better C curve. I'm really getting used to wearing gloves. I think I'm better now, but at the time when I recorded this, it was much harder to use gloves for tips and all that, but I have to get used to it. I'm gonna use this nail tip clipper. You can also use scissors or um, corta uñas. How do you say corta uñas in English? Nail clipper. Nail clipper? I don't know but yeah you can use that to cut the nail once you've cut the desired length you can use um, these little scissors I bought mine from a beauty supply store and I cut the sides to achieve a coffin shape your hand file to shape the nail tip a little bit more and also make sure you blend the nail tip to the natural nail because when you apply the acrylic you don't want it you don't want it to be too thick especially on the side walls because sometimes you'll have the nail tip from the C curve pop off a little bit and it doesn't look as sharp as it should
a little trick that I'm going to share with you guys is that instead of using your hand file, you can use your e-file to blend the nail tip to the natural nail. You see here, I'm using this cuticle, cuticle nail bit and I'm blending the nail, but also be careful, don't do it too hard or too, don't spend too much time on one spot because you can actually thin it out too much to where you actually get to the natural nail. So y'all know me being so clumsy, um, my phone was about to die so it wouldn't record how I did the um, bottom tips, the white tips, but you can go ahead and just kind of try to blend it up, but I couldn't because the temperature in my room wasn't good enough so it wasn't really spreading like it should have. But you grab a bead and this time I grabbed a smaller bead and it really didn't fit for the whole cuticle area so what I did is see I didn't know where to put it but I put it there and then I realized it wasn't gonna be enough so I just took it all off and just remember you guys that it's okay to make mistakes and if you do make sure you're on time to actually be able to fix them this time I grabbed a bigger bead and I try to drag it all the way down but First, I make sure that my sidewalls are actually good enough. They're not overflowing either. Here, chopping off some extra. Bringing it down. Y'all can see my hair at the bottom. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm pushing back the bead so it can be a little bit closer to the cuticles. I'm trying to make it a little bit flush, but I'm not good at that, very good at it yet. But I am learning, like I tell you guys. I'm not gonna lie and say that I actually know. I'm actually just learning for now. I try to check out the other nails and see if they need more pink cover powder because I notice I don't want to I don't I need to make sure that it looks like a natural ombre and you see in this nail I put the nail tip a little bit too a little bit too up where the uh, covering too much of the nail bed and I didn't even notice that until I actually did it but this is really just a practice nail set that I did on one of my friends. I'm trying to bring it all the way down, patting it, I'm trying to blend it up. But this, I'm using Mia Secret and it actually hardens so fast. This white is really so complicated to work with. I'm going to try and look for another white powder. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Because when you try to make it Technically, when you do an ombre, you want to blend it up to the cuticle area, kind of, not all the way up, but towards half the nail like, like it is in here. It, it shouldn't look like a ball just there, like a whole line. You should, you should, um, how do you say it? It should blend, in other words. It should look like a little ombre.
you can see my whole hair on there. Maybe I was so focused in trying to get it right that I wasn't even looking at my phone while I was recording. Oh, wow. And that was my sister who just arrived from work. I'm gonna have to talk to her manager so they can keep her longer. And here I realized that I probably need more white because it, the ombre effect really doesn't look like the way I want it to look. So I added more of it. Honestly, we both gonna find out if it came out nice or not. Cause I don't remember. It was so long ago that I did this hit. In here, I'm gonna start shaping. Another tip that I do wanna give you guys is don't stress too much about how your ombre looks while it's still drying because at the end, when you when you file it, when you use your either your e-file or your hand file, you're gonna come out with a better result. And I discovered that for myself because if I haven't mentioned it, this is the first, well, actually the second time I did an ombre with an actual e-file and i actually did like the way it came out but at first i was really scared because i didn't like the way it looked until i actually filed i think it filed all the imperfections file away all the imperfections i bought this cheap little 11 dollar e-file it sucked it literally only lasted like two months so I do not recommend you guys to buy it it's a cool practice one just to start off but if you're really trying to get into nails and you're actually gonna do this for a long term don't buy it it's just a waste of $11 to be honest with you looked at her just look pointing at something oh I hate this gosh she always picking on my nail sets I love her I love you Remy if you're watching this you better be watching, girl. Look, look, look. Ugh. I love her, though. She really tells me when I'm doing something wrong. And I love that my clients, I always tell my clients to let me know something they don't like. Because I don't want them to go home and think about how they didn't like their nail set. Or how something should have been better. When, when they were sitting in my chair, they never said anything. I want them to walk out and be actually happy with their nail sets. And also because I learn. And this is what it's all about. Learning. That was so cliche. But it's true though. You can already tell it's coming out nicely. Literally, I was not expecting that. I was so surprised when it... With the finished product I'm gonna move on to my buffer block and I love this one because the filing bits are so fine and you can actually make the surface really smooth I think no e-file does that for me this block really really does everything for me make sure you also get the bottom spots underneath on the side walls because sometimes the nail sets can be they can be really sharp and you want to buff the bottom sides too so they don't cut themselves especially when they're wiping their ears you know what i'm saying or when you scratch and you scratch too hard and you're like wow i didn't even realize it was that sharp yeah it's happened to me before 
and you try to take a piss and your buddy holes are hurting <laughs> I'm gonna get what? Demonetized. I'm not even making money off this. Wait, can that happen? What does that mean? I can upload it again. And again, until they all realize that they need me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm really trying to buff those bottom sides. Look at her. She's picking on her nails, trying to see if they're okay or not. Oh, this girl. Now I'm moving on to my top coat. And here I'm using Kira Sky top coat. No wipe, of course, because I hate wiping. The only thing I wipe is my butt. I really do like Kara Sky. A lot of nail techs have great reviews on it. I like it. I have other ones that I have used before, but Kara Sky is actually the one I use whenever I have my favorite clients. I hate it on song. Or just sometimes when I'm feeling it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this ring finger towards the end because once you apply it, you know, gel tends to kind of stabilize and move around. So I leave it at the end because I'm going to put um, Swarovski's on it. And I don't want to put do that first and then move on to the next nails. And then they're all going to end up moving by themselves. I'm trying to go for a little crown. The only reason I bought those green Swarovskis is because she actually sent me a picture of one like that. Uh, it was a little nail design and she wanted me to do that. So, you know, me being me, trying to make my little client happy, I went ahead and bought them. And I love when they do that, when they send me colors or Swarovskis or designs that they want and I go ahead and buy all the supplies so I can give them exactly what they want. After you cure, you apply cuticle oil to revive those cuticles, make sure the skin is back to its natural life and doesn't dry out because of the service. Well, you guys heard it from the one and lonely Remedios. She liked her nail set and I'm really glad I could satisfy her. And thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to let me know of other videos that you want me to like or show you guys. I am a beginner. I'm learning and I love for us to learn as we go. And thank you so much. Peace out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. And remember to share this video with your moms, your granny, your sons, everybody in your household.